of stuck here. The cops won't bother me. Big ADV bikes. I think the non-posers are getting the smaller ADV bikes. Definitely the thumpers. The 700 segment is probably the bet the segment everybody should be in because they still give you the ability of going for very long rides comfortably but yet they're a little bit lighter I'm, I'm talking more about the KTM 790 and the upcoming Tenray 700 those bikes are probably even better for commuting they're lighter they're thinner this Tenray is perfect but it definitely feels like yeah you this is the bike you want to ride to Alaska especially with a shaft drive and the uh, the large tank and the great wind protection but you don't have to in a way I kind of feel that the v Shrum 650 will do all all of this and more the only downside is that no shaft drive and for me I do like the ability of having a shaft drive it just feels like it's just so much better to have something that you don't have to constantly be adjusting a lot of people kind of try to sell you on the chain and there are benefits that the chain over the shaft let me try and pass these guys here there are benefits of the chain over the shaft drive one is the much lighter weight and the chain gives you more power to the wheels so you lose about 25% power on the shaft drive 20 to 25% so I don't it is a loss 25% is a lot I don't know how the chain translates there is some loss but not much so it's a very direct way of getting power to the ground <clears throat> the shaft drive of course it uh, weighs much more and it's much more complex it's got a lot of moving parts and advantage of the shaft drive is that it hardly ever needs any work unless it's a BMW you have to lube it once in a while and they had shaft drive failures constantly But with a regular shaft drive, there's no need for maintenance. And you can just, you know, change the oil on it and that's pretty much it. And it should last as long as the motorcycle does. Like hardly any sort of problems with it. So with this one, I don't feel like I ever need to do anything to it because it's such a good shaft drive. And Yamaha has always made very good shaft drives and engines. Yamaha is considered the most reliable motorcycle brand even over Honda <clears throat> so you know the problem is if it does break if the shaft drive does fail that's a very expensive thing to fix and I think a lot of BMW guys know about this but traditionally a Japanese shaft drive is not going to be failing at least that's the hope right but things could always happen <clears throat> with the chain I've had chains pop on me on my R1 um, I had it break while I was doing a wheelie so not a good idea so I've had them break I've had the chain get so loose on a tour that I had to like find shops and to put in a new chain and sprockets it's about like I think 250 to 400 dollars so not a cheap thing so actually when you add up the cost okay when you add up the cost of a chains over time it could actually lead to more expense than a shaft drive over time but not you would have to put tons of miles on it to, to actually I think the, the shaft drive might be a thousand dollars to fix if it's actually broken so two thousand dollars worth of chains are you know that's probably like what 150,000 miles 
So most people will never see the point of having a shaft drive. But for me, I've done <clears throat> rides in the past and I had to get them changed on the ride. And I've actually even had a chain break my clutch push rod because it was too loose. And that was a, a thing that I had to get a tow truck for. So not exactly a great system on some bikes, but that was more me neglecting the chain maintenance on that one. But yeah, chains do break, they go out of adjustment, they require you to lube them. Riders claim that they've gotten 40,000 miles on chains. I've yet to see any chain that will get you that. Because a lot of it has to do with the way you ride. So if you ride very smoothly and you don't do a lot of uh, stunting or whatever, a chain will last a long time. But if you like to ride spirited, it's not going to last that long. I've never had a chain last 20,000 miles. And then you need to like cut it, you know, put new sprockets in. A big advantage over the chain, oh, a big advantage with the chains over the shaft is that you can actually change the gearing on motorcycles. On my v -Shram, I did that many times, on my Ninja 250s, R1s. Speed ripples, I've changed the sprocket sizes depending on what I wanted to do you know if I wanted to do like wheelies and stuff I would gear them differently than touring and I think for me I actually managed to get 70, 70 miles per gallon on the Ninja 250 by changing the gears so on the chef drive you're kind of stuck you can't do that so it's a little bit less flexible in that way but honestly I don't find that shaft drive on the Yamaha Tenre is or the gear ratios are so bad that I need to change them I think for me it's a very good sacrifice having the shaft drive and having some power loss just because I don't like to be in the garage wrenching installing a chain is not that big of a deal but man if you're putting lots of miles on bikes oh, and another bad thing about the chains is that they always get dirty you know you put oil in it and then you have to clean it and then it gets all over your swing arm with a shaft drive man you just like ride it nothing gets around it you just clean dust off you know the interesting thing about this shaft drive on the Tenray is that like when you rev it even when you're in neutral it doesn't like twist when I had ST 1300s, ST 1100s, and BMWs. Actually, more so in the BMW. The BMW was really apparent. Um, when you twisted the throttle, it would like twist, even in neutral. You just kind of feel like the flexing to the side. And I don't know. I don't know why BMW decides to make it so obvious because apparently Yamaha can absolutely make a shaft drive with very little flex and it really is a better system but I can understand why people shy away from the shaft drive the big reason manufacturers are not putting shaft drives in bikes it's not because they weigh more or there's more power loss it's because they cost more to manufacture and the weighing more doesn't really mean much because on a shaft drive the weight is so down low and yeah it is it weighs more it's more complex but the thing is the weight is just so much further down low that you really don't feel it very much you know if it was high up, up on the top of course you would feel it but there the weight and the simplicity of the chain is a big benefit it really matters if you're the weight we need but on a performance bike, like a sport bike, yeah, I can see why you would want the weight down. But on a, on a touring bike, adventure bike, cruiser, naked bike, bikes that aren't meant to be going fast or that fast and try to get the performance. I, honestly, even the people that ride sport bikes, they don't ride it to their full capabilities and they're actually better off not having chains I mean like they would not know the difference and 
if sport bikes came with the option of shaft drive, most people I think would pick the shaft drive. Because, I don't know, I think a lot of people, they just want to brag how low the weight is, but it doesn't really matter that much. In cycling, there's a term that people say, and it's called weight weenies. And there's these guys that basically weigh all the components and they try to build bikes that are super light. And I think that's really kind of, kind of beautiful in a way. But the thing is, if you really want to go fast, it, it really doesn't matter because what matters is the ability of the rider. So a lot of people are just bored and they want to like have you know measuring contests and they do that with sport bikes and power and everything it's all about comparing one person to another's bike it doesn't really matter the best thing is that you just go out there and ride but look don't listen to me I'm a guy that thinks putting a car tire on a motorcycle is a great idea so probably don't listen to me all right guys that's some of the benefits of the chain over the shaft you make your own decision nobody wants to convince you shaft drives are good for me i like them all right thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video bye I drove around all day and there's not a single job in this town there is nothing nada zip yeah unless you want to work 40 hours a week <laughs>